Today we face another stern test on In The Red. We've headed to Praia del Rey, which is a 6,900 yard golf course and a par 73, with nine holes meandering through the pines and nine holes down on the coastline of the Atlantic Ocean, providing some link style golf. With the winds blowing at 40 miles per hour, this is gonna be a tough test, just like I faced at the West Cliffs Golf Resort. But will I find any redemption here? We'll find out in the season finale of In The Red. Our first hole is gonna be the 10th. They switch starting points, either one or 10, depending on the day. 10th hole today, which is our first, par five, 500 yards into the wind. You do drop down onto the fairway. There's some water up the green and it plays as a little bit of a dog leg. There's a bunker out on the left-hand side and it's not really too visible off the tee, but that's two, three, five to get by. Normally it wouldn't be an issue, but with it, like I say, being about a 25 mile per hour wind this morning, that potentially could come into play. So the wind's off the right. You can see the steeple of the hotel in the distance. I'm just gonna try and play there and let the wind just bring it back into the middle. The tee we're off is the back tee, which is six, oh, well, there is another one, the championship tee that they don't actually put out but this one plays at 6,900 yards. So that's probably about 8,000 yards with the, uh, with the rate of the wind today, but we'll see how we go, give it a whack, and let's get out there. Ooh, that is a bang. A little bit out the right, it's going towards that V tree. Luckily, that wind is holding it up. It's literally, do you see it hit the red stake then? Yeah. It's okay, just a little pitch out that'll be. I don't think I'll be going for this green in two. Well, been a little bit fortunate. I don't know why it's red stake there. There must be an old little riverbed that runs through there. Got four buried in the tire tracks there for all you keen beans. But it's not too bad, it's sat okay. I've only got nine iron out here because all I wanna do is get it over the corner of the tree, pitch out down there and that'll leave me like 50 degrees, something like that, as we go through. I've actually still got 270 yards to the back of the green, 250 to the middle. So just shows that wind again, really being strong, but play out there, wedge on, birdie that way, birdie the conventional way. Oh, that was a little bit sloppy. It's back in the fairway. I don't think I'll be hitting a wedge from there because it went over 100 yards. Well, that wedge has actually turned into a four iron because we've got 170 yards into it. Water down the right. So I'm just going to go up the left side and cut it back towards the flag. If I get left side of the green, that is completely fine by me because I don't want to go anywhere near water. That is struck so well. trap the wind's taking it I didn't think that was gonna move it as much but hey ho standard in the red start a little bit shaky but we'll get there we've not long come from the breakfast bar and I didn't have any fried eggs but I've been delivered quite the fried egg here and to make it just a little bit worse there's water all behind the flag where I'm going at so this is obviously going to come out with no spin and speed I've just need to duff it into the bank really to see it trundle on what I don't want to do is get it going at that water quick but luckily I've practiced in a bunker quite a bit so let's see if we can make the greatest up and down ever just literally flop it into the rough and let it bumble on down I got it into the rough it just didn't bumble on down it just stopped well a bogey to start pretty standard for me i would say that fried egg was a little bit of a punishment but hey ho 17 holes of golf to go a lot can be done a lot can be done out here our second hole of the day, par three, straight up the hill, 175 to the flag. It's about five yards extra uphill, making it about 180. But the wind is straight down our backs again now. So 
almost cancels itself out and actually plays a little bit shorter. So I've got an eight iron here. If I can get that up and let the wind push it, I think this is right on the number. Please be a good yardage because that is all over it. I think that should be pretty good, my friends. We could get a bounce back straight away. As we get up onto the green here, you get your first real look at the Atlantic there. We do head out there for quite a few holes shortly, but a gorgeous view in the hotel is literally just on the back of the green here as well and we'll tee off right next to it on the next one but a few stats about Prairie del Rey as well we see that 56% of the fairways are hitting regulation they are fairly generous I've missed my first one 32% of greens are hit the lowest score is 66 round here now that is some going gross that is because it's a par 73 that we're playing today the average score for the average golfer is 88.5 which when the wind's up i can see that being actually not a bad knock to be fair because if you're on the wrong side of flags with the greens being good and quick and undulating and then the wind whipping up all of a sudden it can get a little bit tricky but we have a little look at birdie from only about 20 feet away this would be a nice little bounce back after that hiccup of a start let's see if we can get it done oh god matt you're not in england now that is still going i forgot to look that <laughs> that was downhill that is severely downhill matthew at one point though it did have a chance of going in never up never in and all that I reckon the greens today are about 11 on the stimp and I just hit that as if it was 6 on the stimp. Oh, I had to break round. Well, not what we wanted. Great iron shot, shoddy putting. I've gone from bigging myself up with a putter to feeling like I'm one of the worst putters going at the minute. Just three putts, silly three putts. And that's one of the stats I think from this year where I've just made mistakes compared to last season. Just like three putts all the time from nowhere. Our third hole is a par five, straight back into the wind, heading right to the coast now on this one. 480 yards. There's some bunkering down the right that you can't see. You're in this sort of tight, narrow little fair, um, ginnel here, firing out to the fairway. The mounds in the distance, the end house are good. The bunkers are, are 256 and um, 290 to get by up on the right. But let's get it going. Let's see if we can stop making silly mistakes. That is right. You won't see that down, but that's actually just at the right edge of the fairway. It's a big dog leg. Well, a little bit skew if with that one, but not the end of the world luckily there's a lot of land out here we're going back straight into it. it's 240 up to the front of the green but i'm just going to hit a hybrid sort of front left hopefully then i can pitch across towards the flag that's back right oh get down get down it's just pitched in that rough up on the left that wasn't good that turned on me little bit awry this morning we're zigzagging our way down we've got 80 yards up to the to the hole but we're coming out of complete and utter rubbish pitch on and then uh let's see what we can do oh that was an actual takeaway oh don't go in the trap why has that come out there This wind is so hard to play in. How do people do it every day? I've hardly even touched that.
Mm. Wind and slick greens, lethal combo. Fourth hole is 355 yards. We are literally right next to the ocean and it is blowing, I think a bit more than 25 miles per hour now. Four over after three ovals. My golf at the minute and my mind have just have just gone a little bit. I'm struggling to to deal with these conditions. The place is lovely, but I don't know how you actually play golf in wind like this. But I'm going to aim into the ocean and let the wind bring it back about 125 yards here. That's down the right somewhere. Wind's got it. Well, we found the rough. Still yet to find a fairway, I think. Um, my ball actually moved, I reckon, a good 150 yards there. It started out over the outer bounds over on the left-hand side over the other fairway. I've missed the fairway by a good 30, and now I'm here, 124, and I'm literally chipping a 7-iron to try and keep it flat. This is... This is mental. This is going to test me today. It's already close to breaking me. That was nearly a shank. Don't know. Little pitch now. Positive here is that I'm going straight back into a hurricane gale, so it should theoretically stop pretty quick. They're fast, them greens. They are fast. Yay, everyone rejoice, it's a par. It is a par. Can we go now? That is brutal. That hole's like a nothing hole. You've got the ocean right there. It's, I mean, it's, it is a beautiful hole, but I didn't even hit that driver bad and it moved that much in the air. God, wow, what a game. Well, the uh, fifth hole of the day is a par three. Absolutely stunning views on this one. Looking out to the bay around there, the waves just crashing in. Just look how fierce they look. That just gives you an idea of what the wind's like today. It's 170 back to the pin. It's only 140 to the front. I've got a four iron out because this is a club I can probably keep the lowest into this wind. I'd probably want to hit three wood, but it'd just get up in the air. But four iron let's get it somewhere close to the green and try and escape with a par please go please go yay dance floor that's probably one of the best four irons i've ever hit i think i can i can go home now i'm happy with those two shots i've just hit we're done well we found the middle of the dance floor what have we got to do now? It's down and then it's up. What a good green this is. It's massively long. It's about 60 yards long, this green. Let's just cozy it up, take a par, run away. Oh, crikey. Actual decent putt there. That wind helped it coming back into it. I'd love to come back here and play when it was like still calm because it's absolutely gorgeous around here, but the wind is just so hard to play in. But got it on a still day. What a golf course it is. Right, on to the next. Sixth hole of the day, 15th. Gorgeous view now. We're getting even closer to the waves. I can feel them just bashing me in the face. Just actually spoke to one of the greenkeepers. He said, this is the second storm we've had this week. Good time to play, Matthew. Storm. Normally February, very calm. Not when I'm in town. Anyway, 410 yards straight down the hill. Bunkers right, bunkers left, beach left. Let's just hold on to our saddles and hopefully get it somewhere near green grass. Get out of that trap. Get out of that trap. Get out of it. Did it go over? I think he got over. That was like a draw. It moved, it had about a 20 yard slice on it. <laughs> so windy. Right, we're actually just 
well over the bunker. 172 yards to the flag. Down the hill, into the wind, out of the rough. I'm gonna hit five, I'm gonna hit the five iron here. I've got 172, I actually made it over the bunker, over the hill. It's only 200 to the bunker. Even in that wind, I managed to get it over, but we're going down into this little valley, gorgeous looking approach here, but it's one heck of a way into that wind. Five iron again, just to try and keep it low, four iron out of the line, might not get it. Just gotta try and get up close. Beautiful backdrop, but this is another testing shot here. Get going! Get going! Not in the bunker. Ah, I tell you what, I've never hit so many good punched flighted shots and got nothing. So tough that hole, 410 into wind. Just a brute. That's going to be loaded with spin. Keep going. Come on, wind, do me a favour. Keep it going. Played for that spin there, that was pure control, that I knew. I knew this downhill left to right. My only concern now is the putt that I face. I might actually go and get the head cover because I only need to set this rolling and it is going to go quick time, rapido. Downhill, left to right. A little bit of dribble is all ne that is needed the speed of that that is one hell of a four now probably the worst start we could have had but we are on a hot <coughs> got sand in my mouth three par streak 16th hole is a par four straight back up the hill tight sort of duned area a narrower fairway but with the wind whipping off the coast here you can go up the right and let it just come back into the fairway so the hotel steeple is a good line for me and then just let it come back not my best strike but it's straight down the middle should see it appear on the hill maybe there is a little bit of a dip but it's down there in the fairway Yay! Well, a fairway has been found, friends. Our first of the campaign. That puts me, I think, at about 4%, just a little bit behind that 52. But good news is I've only got 120 up the hill to the flag. Downwind, I've got my 54 out. Just a nice full one of these, and we get up onto the green. Maybe have a look at birdie. Maybe. Push it wind, come on. That's short, that. That has done nothing. I thought the wind was just gonna and it almost fought into it. Mm. The trials and tribulations carry on. Right, just pitched up and spun back a little bit. Uphill look at birdie, just off the green, but it's not actually a bad place because I'm not coming down the slope here now. Stay up. No. No, no, no. We'll take it. It's another par. We've got the got a little bit of momentum going in our way. I thought it was going to be nine over after nine or even ten over after nine, but we've we've settled the score down. We're still only four after uh seven holes, which I know isn't great given that the wind is at 25 miles an hour plus, maybe about 35 today. It's not too bad if I can just keep this momentum for the next few. We actually go, when we get onto T1, you sort of go on the other side of the resort and you get in a little bit more pine-lined way for a few holes, so we'll get a little bit of relief from the wind as well. So we can climb in at this score at 18. We might have a chance of actually picking a few up on the next nine. Remember I said that, 
because we'll probably play a car crash moment on about the fourth where I'm 10 over. Lol. Our eighth hole of the day. We've got a little bit of relief here. We're on a par five and it is downwind. It's nearly 700 yards though. It's 630 yards up the hill. Um, so it's no given. Hopefully, if we get a good drive away, you never know. You could squeak it in too, but the problem is the wind's that strong. If you don't get your drive up quick high enough, it just gets pushed down. So you don't really actually get the benefit of the wind, but it's a Juney sort of look. You can see parts of the fairway. We just want to go over the tee box is pretty much is our line here and let it just fall into play down there. Right's not too bad. What you don't want to do is hit a little push right. That was in the rubbish on the left, right, wasn't it? I think you're going to have to hit provisional. Just down the left of the fairway. Should be okay there. Well, not what we wanted. It'd be good if I was going this way. I'm actually going back this way. So I think I should be able to get a swing on this. I'm maybe going to come more from this angle and just smash it and just try and get it back out on the fairway. Uh, ah, spiky bush. Um, Let's see if we can get this anywhere near civilization. How do we? <laughs> Got the perfect fin out of there then. I don't think that golf ball is going to be round anymore, but uh, at least it's gone about 120 up the fairway. Perfect. <laughs> well, I hit a driver. I thinned a wedge about 100 yards and I've still got 210 down the wind to go. It was 630 yards over the hole, so to be fair, that's about right at the minute. We've covered 400 of the yards. <laughs> Gonna hit a seven iron, just try and get the wind just to push this up there. Hopefully it can do and just really hump it up towards the front of the green. Let's see what we can, we can do. Nope. Short right, didn't feel good over that. Well, we've got about a 30 yard pitch up now. Just not a good swing that last seven iron. I'm trying almost to play like perfect golf swing here as where I think in these conditions when it's this windy, you've almost just got to get a bit insular and just knock it forwards almost. and change the flight not get it up in the air and i've not really done that well thus far but if i can land this one close around here we could save our par sit jeez well we've got an outside chance of par but just so difficult judging that pitch out the rough and down the wind Flew it too far, didn't want to be too cute, but uh, it's tough old school. Get in. Get in. It's a six. Could argue, you know, the drive warranted more of an eight, but six, go to five over. Let's see if we can do something on the last, the 18th, and then set up a good fight back for the back nine. Our ninth is the 18th, which is 400 yards. There is a bunker just looking at the GPS at 245 up on the left, which is a good line because it's a dog leg left to right on this hole. So I want to start it on that and cut it round. The wind is downwind, but who knows what that's going to do. If I can just get this one in play. Just nudge it into play, nudge it on. That's all I need to do. It doesn't have to be these perfect shots. Come on. Keep cutting. 
Gosh, the wind's moved that now. Looked like it pitched left side of the fairway. It cut off the bunker. Could actually be a like a, a decent golf shot there. Did what I intended. Crazy times, folks. It's not really going my way today. I've hit it down that line that I thought was right. I needed a little bit more fade and I've actually run out of the fairway. Ended up in this pine straw. Luckily though, I do have a little window here that I can go through. I've only got 100 yards up to the flag, so I can just pitch out here, gets me to the front of the green, and job is a good one. Just need to hopefully not have this pop too much on me. It's not come out how I wanted. Bit heavy and just shy of the green. Yeah. Felt decent, looked decent. Right then, for the par of the century. Stay up. No, you absolute rascal. Ah, that's not how I wanted to finish this nine. I actually don't feel like I've done much wrong. Right, six over for nine holes, not, not good. I think the tail end of this season's been a bit meh. But we've got nine holes to go. We're going to fight back. We're going to get stuck in. I'm going to deliver. We've got a few more holes that are in the pines this side, so we get a little bit of that respite from the uh, from the wind. We've got a few holes that are down on the coast, so just got to hold on for dear God on those and uh, see what we can do on the back nine. New nine, new me. First hole here, 365, dog leg right to left, wind into, off the right. I'm gonna go down the left hand side because it does sweep around. I can get over the trees. And then we're just gonna go attack. We're just gonna go all out attack because my game warrants that at the minute. I'm driving it great, I'm wedging it great, putting great, striking mine so well that I can feel at least six over par coming down here. Let's go. Big D, let's see what he's got. That ball looked like it was stalling 50 yards out in the wind. <laughs> it's so strong, that wind. That's like 220 up to that corner, and I've hit that all right. <sighs> Stonemore! I don't want to scare everyone, but I found the middle of the fairway, and I've only got 135 yards left. You know what that means? It's a chippy five iron <laughs> and a quick bogey. Now, the wind seems a little calmer here. It's still up there, I know that much. Just looks like you can't hit seven iron, but you just got to trust it because it is like straight away. That's coming back at you quick. I think just a little punchy cutty one gets me on the money here. Gets me right on the money. Come on. Oh, wind's got it. Stay away from that trap. Might just be short enough of the trap, that. Well, we did find the bunker. It's actually pin high. <laughs> the, the turmoil starts again, folks. This one's a little bit of an easier bunker shot. I can just get it onto the fringe here and just let it trickle down because it's going to be so quick getting away from me. But if I can get it three or four paces out, a couple of bounces, it should just trickle down whole side. Stop going right. Stop going right. We've well, got the, the trickling part. All right, just need it to be a little bit more that way. Calm down. Calm down. Fairway, didn't hit the green. Little up and down. Is it? Is it happening, folks? Is it a comeback? Is it? We're only one hole in, Matt. Calm down. Quick triple to come soon. Right, on to the next. Par five down by the coast. Gonna get battered here. 
strap yourselves in folks because we've got three holes now where we are going back to the big bad Atlantic two beautiful ones down by the coast to be fair but this one par 5 our 11th hole today 485 into the wind dog leg left to right there are some bunkers down here that are only 200 to get over then the fairway falls and sweeps up to the right so just go a little left of those and and get it down there there is a pond up on the right but if i go in there i think i might just end the channel oh straight down the banner what a shot that was that fella knotted that again and it literally i reckon usain bolt if he started running then he would have got to that ball before it landed because it's just stalling like mad in the wind right 210 up to the flag just gonna hit a three wood feels like that's far too much club but the wind's pumping in just try and get a little turn a little right to left for us here just let it slide balls above my feet let it go come on please be the right yardage Go in the hole. Oh no, I've hit it over the back. Come back down that slope. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's not coming. Well, that was about 10 feet in the air, that ball. It's only just pitched up there. The wind's wild. We've got an eagle chance, though. The fight back is on. The fight back's on, everyone. That is a small slither of a green for a par five. We've got a, a putt here. The green looks very much tilted from front to back. So this should be a little uphill and a lot left to right. So if we can swing this in, but it feels downhill from here. If we get an eagle, great. If we get that tapping birdie, fantastic. It's going sideways now. It's actually coming back a bit there at that point. I thought that was going to really off to the right as it came out then. Well, folks, the comeback. One under. First birdie of the day. It's taken me 11 holes to find a birdie. Found plenty of bogeys and doubles, but we're on. If I can hold on for these next two holes that are coming, the rest are in the pines that is sheltered from the wind. And we've actually done okay on those holes. So the 12th hole today is a par three going down into a little valley there. A, a quite open green to be fair. Only 134 yards. I've got a five iron out to try and just punch it down there. But now we're back on the land down here where we go down here and then the fourth we're actually going back up towards the pines but still with the the view of the atlantic there with its crashing waves let's just see what we can do here come on hole in one saves the world that is all over the stick leave it wind leave it that is all over the back of the green. I have hit that so well and just nuked it through the wind. Well, guess it'll have to be a chip in then. Well, absolutely pumped that through Pump Town to the back of the green. We're going down the wind now. This green is really undulating. I need to sort of pitch it about 15 foot shy, I think. And then it should run up around the slopes. I think that's the play. Yeah, where's the wind's going to be pushing it that way? Yeah. Go in, go in, go in, go in. Stop, stop. Come back, Tom. The comeback is on. That was a delightful chip. You've got a bit of room to work with down the wind. They're not too hard. It's those ones that when you've got no room, you've just got no chance of stopping them. But that is very good. I 
an easy, easy three that. Crucified a five iron down the breeze. And there we go. On to the fourth uphill par four that is potentially knockable honorable. And then we get into the pines. One last view of the uh, Atlantic there for you folks. Enjoy it, soak it in, because now you're gonna witness a birdie fest. 13th hole today is a par four that's only 305 yards up to the flag and it is straight downwind. We are going uphill, but there's a bunker up on the left. There's some bunkers on the right of the fairway. They're only 200 to clear. Shouldn't be an issue, hopefully. But I'm gonna hit three wood in the hope that this is gonna pitch around about 280, 290 down this wind and just sort of bound its way up onto the green. If I hit driver and lost it a bit right, there's a big mound that could come into play. So green side bunker up the left with a little bit of fade. Let's get putting for Eagle. Oh, it's up the right. Not the Eagle putt that I was hoping for. The green's about 30 yards down there and I'm 30 yards back here. Oh, another golf ball. A Wilson staff, someone who's of the same caliber as me with a duo soft finds themselves in the terrible desert land over here. Got about 70 yards for a pitch. It's literally just over the top of these firs. All I've got to worry about here is getting the strike on this scrubland. Isn't a bunker for anyone who's commenting. Took a practice swing in the sand. I did not, it is scrubland. Right, come on. That's right at the stick. It's about 10 foot. Get in. Well, what I thought was 10 foot is actually about 18. Pitched not actually too far away from the hole and spun up pretty quickly. We can get this in, it's a bonus. It is a bonus. Wind's just battered it and held it up. It's a par though. A lucky par, I would say. Got away with it a little bit there. Thought that three wood would have flown a lot further. I was intending to land it down here, but a necky heel ain't gonna do that. But we get into the pines now and we've got a par five coming up. So let's keep this comeback going. Our 14th hole comes in the shape of a par four today, a long one, stroke two, 450 yards from this tee. Dog legs from right to left. And it's one, like I say, now we're back in the pines. You got to start to see more of the pines and you get a lot smaller greens here, but bunker just up on the left that we can't quite see from here. Just got to try and get it turning a little right to left. Oh, that is perfect. That is speed slotted. That is money ball. That might have hit the green. It's that long, that long. Just 130 yards left to go on this one. Could have done with it just being a little bit less drawing. It would have probably run down to the bottom, but not the end of the world. I've got a 50 degree out. I can give this full tilt at the flag. Let's pick another birdie off here. Come on. Spin back to that flag, keep going, keep going. It's decent, it's down there. We've got a chance, folks, we've got a chance. Good look at birdie here. Even when you're on the greens now, because it's less windy, you just feel more confident. Don't feel like I've got to be tentative and worry about the wind taking the putt away. It does help that I'm only about 10 foot away. Turning, oh, it's too bold. Too bold on that pace, got the, Got the line, just not the pace. Ah, pa. Ah. Feel like that's a little bit of a missed opportunity. But again, stroke two, long hole. At least it's not a drop shot. A 
15th hole is a par four, dog legging left to right, 370 yards. Um, there are some bunkers down in the fairway, they're about 300 yards. I'm just gonna hit three, we'll try and get it in play, should leave me just a little wedge up to the green if we do get it. It's one of the ones now where we are really back in the pines and we'll see more and more of that. So, fingers crossed we can finish strong over these next four holes. That is A1. Perfect. That will do. Just the 90 yards to the green now, to the flag in fact. So, little 54, it is downwind still. Play this as if it's about 80, and I should hopefully have another birdie look. Be the number. Go in the hole. That was so close to going in. We'll take it, boys. The fight back's on. The fight back is on. That literally, that must have been very close to touching that hole because it's here, then it's gone up there and spun this way. So it must have come in around there. Easy three, though. Easy three. There we go. Two under for this nine, everybody. Fight back's on. We've got three holes left. Think I've got maybe one or two par fives coming. Just calm it down. Calm it down, you never know. Three birds here. Yeah, back to level par. I'd be three over, but or four over, one over. Who knows? But I'd be I'd be better than what I was on the front line. Our sixteenth hole today comes in the form of a par five. Five hundred and thirty. Quite a generous this one. There's a couple of bunkers up on the right that aren't really in play for me. Um, 200 yards off the tee with it being downwind. I mean, they're a greatly placed for if you've got a slice, but there is one down the left that's 285, um, and the, all the banking actually kicks in from the right, so hopefully I won't be near that one. I can go up the right a little bit. From there, then, it should be a pretty easy approach into the green from there, so hopefully get up on two. Keep chipping away. I think current score now, I shot six over front nine and we're two under on this nine. So only four over par. We've got a five, a three, and a four to go. I mean, if I got to two over, that would be the round of the century because I think I was ready to cry and be cuddled on the third tee after, uh, on the, sorry, the fourth tee after the, the wind we faced down on the coast. But hey-ho. It's a different game when you're in these pines and protected, but let's see how we go. Get the drive away and get a birdie. That's just a little left side. Well, it pitched in the bunker and came out. It went bounding up the hill by the looks of it. I think we've uh, had a blinder there. A tad fortunate there. We did end up actually catching the bunker and bouncing up through it. I think because of the... Uh, the speed of the downwind it's now only left me 245 yards to the flag um, it's down the hill I'm gonna get five iron out I think this can carry probably about five or ten yards shy of the green and just bounce its way upon um, contemplating six but I think this is this is the right club 50 yards extra goes 205 so should be about right here just up the right or in the middle of the green and let it let it bounce upon not my best strike but keep going keep going a little bit thin and we're near the front that'll do chip and a putt Well, I'm a different cowboy on this nine. Nearly two hole outs with the old wedgies. Let's see if we can tap this boy in and get gone. Back to backs, everybody. The back to back king is in the his house. Right, par three next. Guaranteed hole in one. 
Right, what are we now? Three under for this nine. Makes such a difference actually not being in the wind and I can I can play golf when it's a bit like a driving range. But when when there's elements, I'm no good. Our 17th hole is a par three. Now you can see everything in front of you on this one. There's water down there, but what you can't see is there's about seven tee boxes. So we're on what would be the back back. There's three different levels to it here. There's another two tees over here. And then there's a selection of um, about three tees down at the front and then even one down further on. So depending on where the wind is and what's going on with this hole, you could play it here, there and everywhere and every view as well sort of makes the green look at a different angle but great hole it's going to be 165 for us today it's probably six or seven iron pin slap bang in the middle let's see if we can keep the streak going right here we go little six iron let's keep the streak hot come on wind a little bit heavy but I thought the wind was going to push that down not the case Jeffrey not the case right an outside chance for birdie just didn't quite get going that ball then but we found the dance floor and not gone in the water which was the main priority that guaranteed hole in one don't know what happened someone nicked it from me anyway uphill right to left Stay up. Thought that was going to be a given then, and it just just dragged up on me. There we go. Simple threes. Need an eagle down the last on the par four to get us back to the greatest nine holes ever. But I'm quite happy with how this second half turned out. Don't feel like I need to quit golf anymore. The final hole is a par four, stretching 420 yards straight down. Bit of like cambering throughout the fairway, banks left, banks right. There are bunkers at 280. So I'm only gonna hit three wood because I reckon driver will get there. So I don't wanna be in with those as well. If I hit it just down to them, I've only got a mid iron into quite a generous green. So good three wood and see what we can finish with. down the right there oh, no I ended up pushing it I got under the first one that I thought was the only trouble and a bit the ones later on down there oh well be a good yardage hit the stick oh, I've nuked it to the back yeah. Shame that. Well, a dicey little rascal to finish us off. We need this for a par. This would be one hell of a par after all that tree trouble. Let's see that go for the speed on that. Get in, get in. Yeah. Barely even touched that. sour taste in the mouth to finish well guys thank you for watching that was prayer del way what a golf course that is truly unbelievable if you're ever out this way make sure you check it out and we'll see you in another video very soon